Hello guys, what's going on? Uh, we are going to uh, practice on how to use JUnit on Java programming. And uh, let's say, I'm just thinking what top of my head, what we should do. Like, I'm thinking maybe of creating a calculator and suppose to, that maybe we wish to uh, to carry out unit testing on the calculator program. and. Uh, and uh, let's create a calculator maybe just simple calculator and uh, this is my project and I'm going to right click and create a project uh, package com.ict 100% junit project okay finish uh, right here let's create a class I'm gonna give the class name the calculator. Okay. And on this calculator, I'm going to have a um, few methods. I'm going to have uh, methods for subtractions method for addition a method for division a method for multiplication so I'm going to create this simple method here which is gonna be public uh, static int add which is addition let's start with addition and uh, I'm going to pass two numbers This should be number two, and uh, this method is going to return uh, number one plus number two. Okay, and now I'm going to write a uh, other method return. And then number two, then return about one times number two, and then the last. But here is the thing. I need to test this one. We don't want number one to be divided by zero. So I'm gonna say uh, if number two equal to zero, then do what? Then then throw an exception. So let's say. It then we say some pass a string here maybe say number cannot be be divided by zero so uh, we need to make sure that this is a real number okay and here I can use uh, let's say maybe she is double as a data type double okay now I'm going to create a unit test I create this folder here test and I'm going to right click and uh, build path use as a source folder okay then create uh, unit test case and we give the name let's say um, cal uh, 
package, I don't want to give package, I'm just saying the call test. Perform the foreign action, add J in the library to view path, yes. We have annotation here, test, it's added by default. And now I want to, um, to call this test method maybe I can give my name another name which is let's say it's not used the import is never used so I'm going to use it now so I'm going to call this method asset equals and here I'm gonna pass um, error in add add and uh, plus comma the same adding four comma then uh, call clear should I uh, expect add uh, two numbers let's say two and one here let's put one okay and i'm going to create like three of these asset methods asset equals three of them and here i'm going to say add minus four let's say and here let's say eight and this minus one minus two this one can be maybe nine and this maybe zero and uh, we need to test create another method called public void calc test fail and then we can pass this to but this time I'm going to change this to zero and this one can be yeah it can be the same and then, now I'm going to pass another test pass pass another method called public void call test pass and then I'm going to write almost the same exactly but I'll be modifying some few things and this is going to be uh, subtraction subs sub 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 and uh, this can be two this can be one 
this one can be zero let's say zero this one minus one and this one must be one and uh, let's create the sub fail change this to 0 and this one maybe 2 and this one just yeah and uh, to run this you have to save so we just have right click on the file run as this one then you run as run as the unit test the test result is showing on the on the if we run it in test you can see we change this let's say nine and this minus three and this is three and save click and run again so the test has passed you can see we have zero error we run it this as far as pass this uh, it was just a simple calculator to show you how to use a unit test thank you guys and uh, remember to subscribe and like and bye bye